Good evening, everybody. Welcome. We are gathering at the Crimson Table, and we have a task this evening. Our task is to learn about the Reverend Dr. Howard John Wesley, what it's like to be a pastor here at Alfred Street, what it's like to work with him. I've got some friends coming by, some colleagues. So come on, y'all. Come on. Have a seat at the table so together we can learn about our pastor, the Reverend Howard John Wesley. My friends have joined me, and now we get to talk a bit more about the Reverend Dr. Howard John Wesley. Mel, you work so closely with him. You travel with him. You keep his calendar. You keep him in line. Tell us, really, what's he like? Who is he? You know, he... It's easy to recognize him as being brilliant. We know him as a preacher, a pastor. It's no secret that he's an amazing father. I think what's harder to remember about him is that it takes a lot of work to do the things that he does. It's easy to forget the humanity of who he is. Um, I always think about what it takes to do the work that he does, for him to find rest, for him to be able to get all that he needs to get done and still find time for himself. Uh, just the person, who he is as a man, that's what I want to impart to everybody. I'm really interested, Ma. You've been with him for the entire 15 years that he's been here. You have a little bit more insight than I do. What do you want to share with us? I want to share with you that he is a true gem. He is a diamond. Mm. And if you know about stones and how they are processed, the whole cutting and setting are not easy. Yeah. And yet they come out brilliantly. And that is exactly what we have, is a brilliant diamond. And this diamond is able to connect us through imagery that he uses in his teaching, his preaching, his guidance. He's able to connect you really with heaven mm. because that's what images do. And his use of imagery is nonetheless. So he is my diamond. I am thankful to have that diamond in my life. And I love that that diamond thinks enough of me to call me Ma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Zena, you have been with him in the study realm. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's a whole yeah. different perspective. But yet some of the things still reign true. Tell us about that. I Literally, it's 29 years ago this month that we met at Boston University. Really? At 29 years. And Mel, you said it well. Brilliant preacher even then. You know, mm. brilliant student even then. But the thing that I think I hold is this rare quality he has. He never stops learning. Yeah. He's at the top of his game. But you watch him study, you watch him deepen. And that's, that's this evolution in him that he's always hungering to know more. And that gives us the example of not stopping, but continuing to seek uh, new knowledge about our God yeah. and our faith. And, and that's the thing that I prize. He was always brilliant, always smart, but he's humble enough to know that he has to keep working and keep learning. Such a rare quality to, to know that you have to evolve before God, to become all God wants you to be, to live into the fullness of God. Yeah. So it, it really is a privilege. I do love him. I, I harass him, but I do love him. <laughs> Mel, I think about your time with him. How, how should we end this? How should we end the crimson table? I think we should remember him and remember him in prayer. Ah, let's do that. Sisters, let's pray. God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Thank you for your goodness mm -hmm. and your yes, mercy. God. Thank you for the ways in which you've connected us to the man that is Howard John Wesley. Thank you for his life, his ministry, and his assignment. Mm. And the seriousness in which he approaches the call that you've placed on his life. Lord, let us remember him as a person, as a man who needs rest. May you grant him a fresh anointing. Mm -hmm. Saturate mm -hmm. him in your love. Mm. Continue to hold him in the palm of your hand. Endow him with your grace. Oh my. Mm -hmm. And may we be mindful 
and keep him held up to you. Yes, God. Continue to bless the hand, the heart, and the head of Pastor Wesley. Yes. These things and all things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.